Hello, welcome back. Today is a very exciting day per usual on my channel. Uh, the puppy's sleeping back here. He's not feeling very good today. I think he's got a little bit of a tummy ache, so um, he's probably, he's not dead. <laughs> he just is sleeping and resting, so we'll just let him be back there. But anyway, today we are going to try the Patrick Star uh, one size, turn up the base Vert versatile foundation powder. This is what it looks like in the package. Let's see what it says online about this product because I know that from looking on Sephora, it is, I think the second most, the second best selling powder foundation underneath the Fenty one. And I've heard a lot of really good things about this foundation, I think. <laughs> so we're gonna try it out today for ourselves. Let's see what it says online. Oh, it's dropped down to three as of the date of this video. So it's the Fenty Beauty, the Sephora Collection Matte Perfection Powder Foundation. I'll have to check that out. And then the Patrick Star. So let's see what it says. It is $33 and it says, a buttery smooth, buildable, medium to full coverage. Ooh, this might be a little too heavy for me. Powder foundation with a, a multi-use formula, a soft matte finish and up to 12 hours of wear. Finishes matte, formulation pressed powder, skin type, normal, dry, combination, oily, highlighted ingredients, texturizers, and microspheres, visibly blur, blur pores, fine lines, wrinkles, texture with a soft focus effect. Rice silk powder helps create a soft focus appearance. So I guess this is supposed to do a lot of blurring. This is what I'm getting from this. Triple milled micro, micronized purest pigments create undetectable seamless true color coverage that lasts for up to 12 hours. I mean, this sounds amazing, right? So anyway, this is what the packaging looks like. Let's open it up. I got medium 5G, medium to tan with golden undertones. This apparently is Patrick shade, which I thought that he was a little bit darker than me, but whatever. So this is, before you get fingerprints on it, I feel like I've already gotten fingerprints on it. This is what it looks like. It's got this cool like little thing. So I think you pop it, I'll take out this off. It's not reflection. So yeah, I don't know. Let's maybe swatch it and see. Oh, it looks very pigmented and it also looks like it's going to be good because I feel like I'm, I'm getting a little bit more tan for the summer. So, and all these foundations that I'm picking are a little bit light. <laughs> so I think this one might be, might be good. So anyway, let's get to it. I'm going to get, I'm going to use the Fit Me uh, Matte and Poreless Primer that I've been using for the last couple of days because I know how it works. It's got sunscreen in it. So let's go ahead and just pop it on the face and then we'll obviously do our check-ins and see a how this goes. I have high hopes for this though. So, uh, yep, yeah, let's pray. <laughs> All right, so I've done one half of my face. I don't know how, how I always get hairs on my face. I definitely should have done concealer today. <laughs> uh, but anyway, so on a first initial application, I feel like it is covering. It's got some coverage to it. I feel like it looks pretty good on my skin. On initial application, I'm, I'm kind of digging it. So here's half, here's the half that I've done. And then here's the half that I haven't done. So it definitely has some coverage. Definitely is even me out. Matte for sure. Definitely should have done concealer. <laughs> Big mistake today. I must be tired. I don't know. But uh, okay, let's go ahead and finish up the rest of the face and then we will move on. All right, we have it all applied now. And this is what it looks like. It looks really good, actually. Minus my bags under my eyes. <laughs> We're gonna move on from that. Okay, so we have it all applied and 
we're gonna do check-ins throughout the day and we'll see how this wears. So I will see you in just a little bit. Hello, here's our first car check-in. I'm already sweating, it's like 90 degrees. I didn't turn the air on because I wanted you guys to be able to hear me, but I'm looking in the mirror and uh, I'm perspiring a little bit, but it is looking so good. I'm loving it. I can't be here for long. I need to turn on the air because I'm sweating, as you can see, but it looks so good. I'm really digging this so far. And I like the color, I though I feel like, is it a little bit darker than my skin? I was worried about being too light, but now am I too dark? I mean, powder foundation is pretty flexible, but I don't know. We'll see. It's so funny watching back the footage to see like, oh yeah, maybe you're a little bit off. <laughs> but anyway, first check-in, car check-in, looking good. Love it. Got to turn the air on. See you in a bit. Okay, here's our five-hour check-in and let's just go ahead and take a look together. Uh, I'm a little oily. What else is new? But this foundation is really holding up. It's not like breaking apart. Um, so I want to do just a little bit of touch up. Let's see. See, I am a little sweaty. I mean, this is normal, but I want to do a little touch up with it and see how it layers, uh, by itself. And then I'm heading to a showing. So maybe we'll just check in there and we'll just see how it holds up with a little touch up. I feel like because, so this is a little bit more medium coverage powder for sure so just keep that in mind if you're looking for very very light coverage very very unclockable this is a little bit heavier so i'm a little bit worried if i touch up that it's gonna look a little cakey but we will find out right now all right so yep it's looking it's definitely mattifying a little bit but it is adding more coverage so I don't think this is gonna be a foundation that you can layer and layer and layer to touch up. Uh, you know, I wish that I would have done the Fenty blotting powder, probably can't see this, uh, over the top because I think it would have taken down the color a little bit because I am a little bit, it is a little bit darker than my skin. Um, the touch up did really well, so my skin looks good. Uh, it's just adding more coverage, so. Um, let me just go ahead. We're just going to layer it all on. We're here. So let's just layer on the Fenty powder on top of it and see what that does to it. And then we'll check in at my showing and then we'll be done with this review. So let's see just right here where it's looking a little bit like cakey. See, yeah, that's what I should have done. So if you're, if you're, if spots are coming off, maybe you could do with the powder again, with the with the Patrick Star powder. But if you're just looking for a touch up, that Fenty powder, you just want like a, a, a translucent powder to kind of like control the shine so you're not adding more coverage. That did a really good job. So I would say one application in the morning of this and then touch up with translucent powder because that made it look really, 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 really good. So, okay, we'll check in at my showing and I will see you in just a little bit. Okay, so I just finished my showing. It's been about half an hour since I did my touch up. Look at how cute this little fire pit it is in this house that I'm showing. Anyway, I digress. So, the touch up did really well. This, I approve this. If you're looking for a little bit more coverage in your powder foundation, because this definitely has a little bit more coverage, a little heavier, then this is your jam for sure. So I would say the Patrick Star powder foundation is approved. If you want a little bit more coverage, this is it. But it blurred, it did really well. It held up really well throughout the day. Um, touched up well with the translucent powder. Wouldn't keep touching up with the actual powder. So yeah, I'm into it. So this is a win. This is awesome. I'll probably be using this in the future. Hit that subscribe button to follow me on my journeys for the perfect man makeup. And we're on a roll right now. I think we're hitting a couple of uh, good good products so yeah follow me on my journey thank you so much for watching me and uh, i'll check you on the next one <laughs>